Hello. Hello. Adam, take it away. Welcome to the Adam Freeland Show. Is that how you want to start it? I mean, no, well, no, I no, mean, no, no, no. I'm not criticizing. I was like, do, do you maybe, maybe we'll gentlemen. try like a different, we can play around with it, do a couple of them. Okay. Um, Give me a second. I'm going to go get my water. Okay, go for it. I mean, should I wait or? Guys, welcome to the Adam Friedland Show. What is the date today? It is the 18th, I believe. It's the 19th of 19th September. 19th of September. I heard that one from the other room. It sounded good. What? It sounded cool. Oh, the way I spaced it out? Yeah. And emphasize. Thank you. I appreciate it. Guys, it is the 19th of September. The queen has been laid to rest. This is We're finally doing a queen episode. Yes, we are. Yeah. She's been laid to rest at... Uh, Windsor Castle, her favorite place, mm-hmm. and Nick and I are in a good mood. And one Just thing is for about, certain, about like a middle-aged black guy, uh-huh. and he's got he's got like uh, the the Denver Nuggets uh-huh. shorts on. Okay, and they're falling down. His like dick and ass are hanging out. <laughs> he's like this fat middle-aged guy, uh-huh. and he runs into the bodega the yeah. morning the queen died. He's like, "Y'all heard little Kim die." <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, man, go go home, Come man. On, man. Go home, man. Pull your <laughs> where your drawers at, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you little Kim died, dude. That is that's the best video. That guy in the bodega in yeah. the Bronx, right? That guy. My son got the Denver Nuggets <laughs> he got, jeans. He got the Denver Nuggets jeans. It's the best. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm it, thinking Denver Nuggets shorts. That, yeah, I think they were like jean shorts. Quite good. Here's the thing, folks. A little peek behind the curtain. Nick and I are in a good mood right now. Mm-hmm. Things are happening. And this good mood we're is gonna, certain to continue for the rest of our lives. Yeah. The, we're, uh, we were going to do a monologue, but I got caught up running data cable all over. Yes. I find, I'm got, Nick's I making a shit. rack. I already the rack's done. For the production studio. I got the desk built. Yes. Rack done. Dude, we have a Network equipment ordered. Mixer ordered. We have a command center. Yeah, I'm building an actual Shit control room. Yeah, quite, quite Dude, literally. Dude, I'm, I'm stoked. They don't even know. Y'all got no idea. They don't even. Y'all ain't even got a damn idea. I know. We shouldn't play it up this much. No, we should. We should? This is awesome. No, but it should be like a surprise for them. I don't care. I'm the audience. It's so true. Any, Fuck them. Anybody, anybody that it, when they see this, this is awesome. When they see what we've done, <laughs> dude, I can't. They don't even. I wish I know. wasn't such a little gossip fag. I know we should shut could, our fucking. When I was in Indy, it was very tempting after the show to just pull out my phone and show people, and I didn't. I didn't oh show anyone. God. Oh my god. Get ex- I mean, whatever. Yeah. I don't have to say anything else, Mm -hmm. but it's tight. Yeah. It's tight. It is. I got to get these, these tours, this tour done because I was like, maybe I'll get back in. I only started doing stand up because I thought the podcast was ending. Yeah, I know. I need to do something for money. Yeah. And like I broke the hour for Austin and Mm -hmm. I was like, I got to burn the, I can't be doing stuff about the Oscars anymore, but I don't give a shit. It's your job to stop laughing at it. Once the audience is... (laughs) <laughs> Once the audience has stopped laughing, I'm losing money every weekend. When the laughter stops. Because nobody's coming out. Yes. Then it's full-time Adam Friedland show. <laughs> We're going to go hard. Yeah. I really want to go hard. We're go- we already have gone hard. We've gone quite hard. They I don't finally, even know. I finally did all the expenses. Yeah. $106,000 <laughs> I've spent. <laughs> <laughs> and there's plenty more to spend. There's more, yeah. I just spent another Lighting three. and sound. Yeah, I spent three grand today on on all the networking stuff. Yeah, well, networking and other lighting stuff. is going to be like another forty thousand dollars. Not forty, probably thirty. Thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. At the DP was like, uh, you know, you can get cheaper options. I was like, no, no. Can no. Tell me the most expensive one to buy. No. It because the know, lighting's going to be in the shot. Right. So you want people. Right. Here's the thing: is like um, they they say like. Signs your friend is suicidal, right? Mm-hmm. Is like uh, that they start spending. No, it's that they start giving stuff away. It's not giving that they stuff spend away. Money. Okay, spending right. money is manic episode. Okay, 
Well, all I was going to say ever, is everybody like, likes to tell me I'm having a manic episode and say, they love tr- trust me, that. you'd know if I was having a manic episode. This is just normal irresponsibility. Yeah, I've seen you have a manic episode. This is before. just my, my basic. You scream at billboards. This, yes, this is my basic. You talk about God. Yeah, day to day making bad decisions well the, this the, is just this is just stupid no it's not stupid it's, not it's stupid. tight yeah. it's liberating it's awesome well right? a lot of shit that's stupid is also tight i agree like motocross like being dave mira that's stupid yes but well, you wouldn't say tight. you wouldn't say dave mira is an intellectual we are we're like uh travis but pastrana that right? 30 for 30 where he kills himself in front of his wife <laughs> And oh, she's begging Matt Hoffman. Matt Hoffman. That's yes, it. the goat. That that is the goat. That's one of the best things a man has ever done. Yes, that video where she's like, or that segment. Please stop. She's like, there's literally <laughs> no reason to do. And he's acting like he's going to the moon. Right. He's like acting. It is the most important thing a man. Right. He's can acting do. like he's yeah. going off to fight World War Two, yeah. <laughs> and it's just it's jumping as high as possible on a bicycle. Yes. And then you watch him on do it on a tiny bicycle. And <laughs> it's to the Homer, the Homer the Clown, like yeah. loop the loop. And he immediately concusses himself. Goes like, into a coma. Uh, <laughs> His entire family mourns. They think he's dead. He dies legally for like an hour. Yeah, he like sep- back. He separates his brain stem from his spinal column. Right. Medical science finds some way to revive him. Right. He comes out and yeah. then he's like, "I'm going to put you all through this." <laughs> all. Of- he's like, "I got to I got to go hard again." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's basically what we did with with this, and we're doing it. Kind of. Th- that's my only point. That, like the signs of your friend being si- suicidal is like. You guys have to keep gassing us up mm-hmm. because otherwise the fucking the the wheels are going to fall off the track. Mm-hmm. We we have momentum right now. Mm-hmm. We feel good about this, but if for any like brief second we realize that we're <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm actually tunneled in. I feel the same way. I'm, I'm, when I'm happy with what I'm doing, I feel like, the same I really way. don't give a fuck. Yeah, like our friend the other night. He was like, yeah, I have some constructive criticism to offer. I was like, you can shut the fuck up. Yeah, fuck him. I don't really give a fuck about your constructive criticism. Fucking piece of shit. I'm happy. I have some constructive criticism for you. You know who tried to give... Stop cheating on your girlfriend. (laughs) (laughs) In front of everyone. (laughs) Uh, They have no idea who we're talking about. It's it's literally just a friend. I don't know, man. You better be careful with these fucking... The McGruffs. The, Mc- the crime dogs? The, the McGruffs of gossip. Yeah, Just like a, a poodle McGruff. It's like, ooh, I'm going to find ooh, out who, who they're, they're talking, talking about. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, a poodle in a trench coat. The gayest form. It's of- actually, they're gay. They're the world. The anyway. People I gossip about all day long, they're the ones that Anyway, our friend was trying to give us constructive criticism. Yeah. And to that, we say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, shut up. We know. We, well, we, shut up. It doesn't matter what we know what we're doing or You're not. drunk. Shut up. Yeah. You know who they fucking... They tried to give constructive criticism to Howard Hughes. Yeah. They said you're blowing all of your family's it's true. money. Stop peeing in jars and keeping it in your bedroom. Yeah. and then Cut made, your fingernails. He made the greatest movie of all time. Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. They said it couldn't be done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What a guy. Yeah. I might watch Jaws. Is it a good movie? I think so. I have... And I may have la- lied about this. Mm-hmm. In six years of broadcasting, no, I, I didn't. I, I've never seen the Jaws series, a, and I've never seen the Alien. I didn't series. have a respect for filmmaking until I had to film myself in a bed for a total of maybe seven seconds yes. of footage, and I could not do it. I watched. Uh, I went to the theaters to see a bad movie recently. Mm-hmm. That guy, John Boyega. You know that guy? He's like young Denzel, that mm-hmm. British yeah. guy, Chef Boyega. Chef Boy Boyega. They got chicken in a can now. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. Somebody, so it's somebody like, might say that. It was like a basically dog day afternoon. Some like mm-hmm. a vet goes like a. How about a movie about four white women and it's called Let's Dog Dick it. Afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and they take over a and kennel. They, <laughs> <laughs> they're just it's four white women that take over a kennel. <laughs> and they're just sucking the dog. <laughs> they're just sucking they're getting fuck. fucked by dogs. <laughs> and then they come out. Yeah. And, and they're, they're like, like, they're like I want to speak to the news. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're like, the Me Too movement. And then women are like, yeah, I guess. They're heroes. They're heroes. For f- Even though it's illegal. Yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, but that guy basically they tried to remake Dog Day Afternoon, mm-hmm. but everyone's black in it mm-hmm. except for uh, Connie Britton, Coach's wife mm-hmm. from uh, Friday Night Lights. So it's it's like she dog, plays the journalist. Dog Afternoon Night. Well, where Mar- you take all the time words and you shift them to I see, their later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but but uh, not Marlo. What's his name? Uh, Martin Lawrence. No, the gay robber from The Wire, the dead guy. Oh, Otto. <laughs> no. What's his What's name? What's his fucking name? Alonzo. Michael K. Williams. Michael K. Williams. I believe it's his last role. He's like the hostage mm-hmm. negotiator. Yeah, what the fuck is his name on the wire? Dude, I really not think... Not Marlo. I really think everybody got... Not Avon. <laughs> I genuinely, I mean this. Like, I think COVID, like... I'm f- retarded. Fucked, fucked. I'm retarded. You know, any you're like, oh, it's just a cold. I think I legitimately have permanent brain damage i'm 20 iq points lower i can't remember and shit, i never dude. was particularly intelligent yeah no but i, I can't, can't remember, remember i can't remember i used to here's the thing i used to misremember omar things omar the, omar i used to misremember things all the time and now i don't even do that yes yeah yeah i used no. to be like yeah val kilmer directed no titanic. i have all, alzheimer's people, yeah and then i'm like what's that guy's name he directed titanic and he was in heat Howard Hughes. Yeah, Howard Hughes. Yeah, yeah. No, but see, that's still misremembering. Now I got my brain's like, I'm not doing this shit. Uh-huh. What were you talking about? I don't know. Oh, okay. So I saw this movie. Not particularly But good. since it is a Chinese virus, I think we should all try to learn math. Mandarin. Mandarin. Yeah, math and Mandarin. You already know both. Because I don't you know You don't math. know math. Yeah, I'm bad at You don't at know math. math. Uh, math always made me feel you sick need, when I was a kid. Yeah. Like physically ill to have to do math. Yeah. It'd be like, what's nine divided? I'm like, shut the fuck up, I dude. I stunk at math. Shut up. Yeah. It's like, it may hurt my brain. But to the do way it. you conceive of things would lead me to believe that you'd be all right at math if you applied yourself. No, I really, I don't. Really? Yeah. No. You're like a liberal arts fag. Anyway, but th- this movie isn't particularly good. And uh, the guy, John Boyega, is just trying to do Denzel in John Q. But there's a scene where he really goes for it. Mm-hmm. How about John Q and on? Great. And he's like, my son <laughs> got raped by Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm taking over this kennel. <laughs> and I'm fucking all these white women until my son gets restitution. <laughs> Oh, Dog Dick Afternoon is so good. <laughs> just them running a train. <laughs> <laughs> just them, like, literally just, like, dapping each other up. Yeah. Just, they're all pit bulls. Yeah. They're wearing do-rags. So what this show is going to be, it'll be a talk show, but yes. we'll have, like, fucking Jessica Chastain on, mm-hmm. and I'll, like, lean over, and I'll be like, how about Dog Dick Afternoon? And then she'll leave, and then we'll just do the regular podcast. She, you don't think she'll want to get married to you after you say that? I think she would despise me honestly she's low-key your number one i hate to blow up your spot you say that just because i like you say it all the time no i don't no the when you say jessica chastain there's like a look on your face Mm -hmm. where it's like one of my eyes crosses nick likes and my tongue hangs out of my mouth i turn into a cartoon wolf and i start you're doing a woo guy yeah Yeah. anyway but there's a scene where John Boyega's that's, really that's cool going that the for the horn on your car used to be to get pussy. That's what it was for. And then yes. somebody was like, maybe I'll use this <laughs> instead of getting into an accident. <laughs> it used to be, it was designed. Yes, for trying to get pussy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's smart. Mm-hmm. Um, or is, I mean, I was about to make a really fucking gay point. John Boyega. He's really going for it. And I watched him in the theaters Mm -hmm. and I was like I know what that's like because of that scene where I was with the Russian girl Mm -hmm. I can empathize as a as a creative artist and performer yeah and I I I saw myself I thought you pulled it off considering we shot that in all one take 20 minutes we had to set up and get that done yeah and she 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 couldn't remember the words she didn't see them until our girlfriend. It's she's speaking. A I second sent her language. the script. I sent her the script. All right, whatever. She was great. Yeah. She'll be back. Maybe she was at the at Casual Mail XL buying clothes. Um, for for her fat boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll have her back. No, she's coming back. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
She's part of my life. Though. Yeah, we'll write her back into the show. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So um, you don't like Jaws? I've never seen it. I've never seen the never Jaws, seen Jaws or the Alien. Jaws is good. Why would you think Jaws is bad? I never said it was bad. Uh. I never saw it. Yeah. And I don't think I've seen all of the Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is not as good as, you know, because Indiana Jones, they put that like at the top as far as Spielberg. I mean, it's, you know, it's Spielberg, it's Lucas. They had sex with each other. Yeah, they fucked. Yeah. They yeah. fucked a kid on that set. That's got to, Indiana Jones. They fucked that Considering Asian, the yeah. recipe. Yeah. Should be one of the best movies. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Every time I've tried to get back into. I've tried to not get back in. I've tried to watch Indiana Jones, like as an adult. Because mm-hmm. as a kid, you would see it in passing. Yeah. And then I'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll watch Indiana Jones, and it does nothing for me. The only baby movie that still holds up. And you know you know why I do it? What's that? Because, of, and I've said this before, how incredible Lego Indiana Jones is. As Very fun. And Lego Star Wars as well. I only played, Lego Indiana Jones came free with the Xbox 360. Yeah, and I. It's a game you can't lose because it's for like, like two year olds. Right, you just yeah. the Legos fall apart. You just. But I tell you, you want to talk about stupid? It took mm-hmm. me until almost the end of the game to realize that. Really? Yeah. Did you ever play Uncharted? Yes. Amazing. Really cool. I love that game, dude. Well, Uncharted it, Two is supposed to be the best one, but I couldn't get into it. The uh, first, the first Uncharted, I loved. It made me feel like I had a brother. Yeah. Nathan Drake. I always wanted a brother. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan Drake, who's the great, great, great grandson of Drake. Of Drake. In the yeah. game. Yeah. The rapper. Yeah. They're like, you're so white. He's like, yeah, they bred all that shit out. Yeah. So if is I, he. I mean, you were starting off, yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Pretty He's close. basically, come on. Yeah. He's just allowed to say I that. mean, yeah, Drake Drake looks, Drake looks like a Jewish guy standing under an umbrella. No. Under Drake, a parasol. Drake hacked mm-hmm. what every single Jewish boy. Mm-hmm desperately wants because mm. we just want to be an international but you know drake, drake was impossible until obama but obama doesn't get elected there's no drake i don't i don't know no obama Abra- obama brought the the phase shift i don't know no it's also obama got whiter throughout his i don't know if comeback season came before or after obama did you notice that obama's like shade kind of oh he got lighter yeah he did. I swear to God, mm-hmm. he did. Yeah, everyone said he was the first black president, but what about the first light-skinned president? He's the first red bone president. He's the first red bone. Yeah. Yeah. What's he up to? Nothing. He really didn't do anything. He came. He came out of retirement he made to, make, to make sure. Yeah, Bernie didn't win, and then he. Uh, yeah, he made that Netflix. The a couple of Netflix things about yeah national parks or something. Yeah. Well, the F- American Factory. That was cool. I watched that. It was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. It was cool. Obama did that. Obama. Obama's I forget cool. Obama did that. Obama's cool. No, not as cool as Sleepy. Or we were think, arguing about this before. You think Joe's cool? I think he's all right. I, no, as a guy, I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I think Obama's cooler than Joe Biden. He's cooler. He's black. Yeah. 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 I, it's, it, it's very hard to dislike... Like you have to, you you either have to be, and I'm gonna get in trouble for this. You have to be like genuinely, I think, racist to not like Obama just on a personality level. Uh Because there's nothing. I mean, he is extremely charismatic. That's why. Do you remember after the shooting, the Dylan Roof shooting, Mm -hmm. when he went to the church Mm -hmm. and he like gave the memorial? Yeah. And he started singing "Oh Happy Day." No. And he had a voice of velvet. He was like, oh, no, was it? Um, no, it was Amazing Grace. None of the stuff that... It was like, amazing. He was amazing. No, all all of like, the Ob- damn, he could also yeah. sing. All of the Obama hate. That's why it's like, that's where like all of this started. It's like all the Obama hate, they had the, like most of it was hinged on Photoshop. Like putting bones through his nose. <laughs> like, and his wife having a penis. They yeah. kept saying his wife had a well, penis. Well, you can hate Michelle. That's fine. I don't give a fuck about Why? Because she wants you to eat vegetables? Yeah, she's just like, yeah, some fucking, some she's brush some teeth, eat your vegetables, do push-ups. Don't tell me what to do. Shut up. Yeah. Obama, Obama wrote a book about smoking crack and eating chicken wings. Yeah. It's uh, called The Audacity yeah. of Hope. The Caucasity of yeah. Hope. That's awesome. Yeah. No, he is a cool guy, I guess. Yeah. But don't forget, this is a center-left show now. 
No, I mean, yeah, of course. He's so we have to call. Guy. We have to call everybody racist. So before you send me angry emails, he's racist, telling me that that Obama's. How dare you? Don't forget what the show is. Right. So yeah. Forget. The show. Yeah. And if you don't like Barack Obama, you're racist. Yeah. If you don't stop like, listening, turn on. If you don't like Michelle, you could be a misogynist, but that's okay. There's room for that in the center. We're left. center left misogynists. Yeah. Yeah. We're like that guy. Um, that democratic donor who we're anti racist those people. We're anti racist <laughs> who Ed Buck. <laughs> Ed Buck. Dude, I swear to God, me and Mike saw him when we were driving back from they were taking a lift Wait, back. He's from not the in jail? No, yeah. I mean this was some other guy. There was a, we were we, there was a Porsche nine eleven and I look over and uh it's just some old Jewish guy in like a pink like wife beater with like yeah. some young black guy in the passenger seat and he's like talking <laughs> he's like fucking <laughs> just buttering him up, you know, and I was like, Hey Mike, look, it's Ed Buck and then we had we had a nice little laugh on yeah. the way back from the airport in yeah. Indy, which was very thanks for everybody for coming out. Also I will be I gotta move these tickets, folks. Nashville, Zanies, this weekend, please Great come out. Club. Am I, the numbers, I, I don't know. I feel Guys. Like, I feel like everybody that wanted to see me already saw me. Mm-hmm. They drove. They drove. And now I'm I'm struggling to, to get these tickets popping. No, you got it popping. Oh, and then all I think all my Seattle shows are sold out, but the second Portland show, there are some tickets for this weekend. Mm-hmm. So come through Mississippi Studio, Pacific Northwest. Yeah, you're doing better than I did. I didn't sell out Portland until day no, of. No, I'm doing some... I'm doing... I'm doing some whatever baby penis avenue some baby penis venues i don't even want to go on the road i just want a beast at the studio you left me hanging signing up for equinox by the way i'll sign up that was your idea to go over there no i wanted it i wanted i wanted you to now i have it now i've been i wanted you to meet her <laughs> Nick's in love, guys. We won't no, go I'm into not, it. I, you're Nick the is one in love. You did it. You Nick's were Nick's in love. No, you can't. You said she that. She seems like a then, great woman. And then you make it about me. And then I got tricked into signing I up. I was just trying to. You, was, you did. The, you were like that woman likes you. And then I was like, well, I, maybe I'll sign up for the gym. She loves. She. She loves you, dude. Now here I am, humiliated, too you're embarrassed. You're to spending three hundred dollars a month just to get her <laughs> attention <laughs> to show my face at the gym. Well, yeah, we got to buy. You got to get her, Nick. We got to f- buy foam board so I can justify buying this foam board cutter. For what? Bouncing lights. What foam board cutter? This thing. I got this foam board cutter. I, I had to when I had to make for the, the book jacket. For the book jacket, but then I, what I needed is the choppy thing, and I had a choppy thing, and it's at my ex girlfriend's house in her basement. Mm. And I'm not fucking. So that's painful. Not opening the door. That's painful. But I also can't justify buying another choppy thing because I already have one. So you got a f- better choppy thing? No, this thing is only for foam board. Oh, that's okay. not really good for 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 cutting stuff. But we'll just I'll tell you, you know what this will money. you know what this will be perfect for? What's that? Cutting the backing board for my puzzles when I glue them down and then frame them. We don't have time for puzzles, brother. <laughs> My brother in Christ. (laughs) My brother. Pause. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. We can joke around. You can talk about, I'm in love with this bitch or whatever. Gossip about my personal life. She's perfect for you. That's fine. But even even approaching. The girl from the gym. Even suggesting that I don't have have time for puzzles. That's like telling me I don't have time for therapy. In fact, I might fire this fucking therapist and get a couple more puzzles. It's a man. Huh? It's a man? Yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah, you can't go to a woman therapist. I'll never see a bitch. What am I going to do? Go to a woman s- mechanic tell also? Tell her my secret. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. She would fucking gossip about it. Mm-hmm. Laugh about it. Yeah. The goal with therapy is just to convince the therapist that you have some sort of like irreparable personality disorder. Because then... No, not me. Well, then they'll be like, uh, yeah, we we can't help you. I'm like... Pfft. Told you so. I tried it. I fucking did it. I oh. tried my best. Oh, my strategy yeah. is different. Yeah, I want him to be like, "You are the greatest guy I, I have ever met." What I did, I life. went in on the first one and I had um, memorized 
all of the choreography to Britney Spears' toxic music video. You did it for I him. just performed it. You brought the snake? Uh, yeah. And I just... <laughs> I didn't remember the words. I just did the choreography. Yeah. I'm toxic. And he was like taking notes. Yeah, he was taking notes. And he was Fucking like... bastard. Okay, that'll, that'll be $750. That'll be <laughs> <laughs> this is a real job. This is a real job that, I can, mm-hmm. that someone could have. Y'all heard little Kim died? Go home, man. Come on, man. Put your drawers back on. Put your drawers on. <laughs> Where your drawers at, man? Come why on. you take your pants off for little Kim dying? <laughs> that pa- don't even make sense, bro. Why your pants off? Let me let me get let me get the sucky thing. You got to. I, I I might have to make an office rule that you got to keep the vape away from me. I, right. I've gone one week no I'll vape. Go, one second. One second. Where are you going? What are you doing over there? Well, folks, now it's just you and me. Um, if you're enjoying the Adam Friedland show, those were real numbers. We have spent that money. We do have big things planned. I'm very excited about it. Please support the show at patreon.com slash T-A-F-S. I know some of you may think, okay, well, you guys already make a lot of money. That's true. It has literally all gone back into the show for the last month or two which is why i have had to do stand up even though i like doing stand up it's nice coming out meeting you guys saying hi but it's it's uh i I, ideally i would be here working on this thing all the time and then you know just doing club spots and then hitting the road and doing like a quick big market tour with a new hour Uh rather than a bunch of topical bullshit i glued together before it is it is pretty annoying yeah, to hear that from me. What? Because you're like the, you're one of the best. Oh, shut up! I don't want to say it on the podcast. You're very good at it. Yeah, it's but like I, it's like being like, oh, I'm you know I could be in the NBA, but this is not. I the would NBA. rather just spend a no, lot it'd be of like, money. This <laughs> is this is the NBA, and, and this then, feels and, more and like this would be. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh, I could. This is the NBA, or it's like okay, but you're you're a very entertaining Harlem Globetrotter. Or like uh, no, you have pedigree in stand up. I don't know what that means. I don't fucking know. I don't want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. Mm. What's this hat you're wearing? This I bought it with you. What is it? Was it the Paul Simon concert? Oh damn! Yeah. But it looks like a Fubu hat. We got to go back to Japan. What do you mean? This is this is another thing. What? You 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 speak. With fondness about times where you were not having a good but time. But here, like, I've explained this you to you like, before. You were like, I want to go back. It I've like explained. You were not having a good time I've explained there. this to you before. <laughs> but the way my mind works is I'm very sentimental and I'm very nostalgic. And so I'll go do something. I knew full well going into that tour that I would be miserable. That I would, like, be upset and really depressed Uh but i know that about myself and i know that like my brain will just wash it clean yes in a month and then i'll look back on it and be like man that wow (laughs) it just takes a while you were incredibly miserable i've got like until you got your hands on opioids in japan in australia in australia sorry and then i was on drugs and then you were like i remember (laughs) you were <laughs> we were in Melbourne. What was that line? We were doing that like local, yeah, lo- yeah, like yeah. that local yeah. show. Yeah, about my man talking about he got an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> you walked up to me. You were like so happy. You're like I'm yeah. on tramadol. Uh, <laughs> and then you were like, you're like, hey. And I was like, what's up, dude? How are you? And you're like, great outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you look good. Great outfit. Yeah, it's it really sucks that like drugs. They rock. Well, they just, they make you normal. You know, like some people are, they're just, uh, they're in a good mood. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I don't know. How else can you do it? God? Um, No, I think, I think the bullshit that people say probably works, you know, like just taking the time to appreciate things. Yeah. And, and and cause like I said, it's like, you know, if I have the ability Mm -hmm. to like in retrospect, appreciate things, there's a way to synthesize that appreciation and what I'm actually doing in the moment is just, right. I, I don't, I guess I'm going to have to learn a couple more Britney Spears songs. <laughs> and keep going back to therapy and, until, uh, until it clicks. Oh man. Yeah. No, I'm really excited about last week. What's about the, the conclusion of last week when we realized 
what's what's up what's going on oh with this yeah yeah any every little bit of progress but last week that was huge yeah so it feels good the thing that's like what's frustrating me is because like this will be ready to go i would like to do like a longer thing like shoot and edit a longer thing and have that be incorporated into the set reveal yeah and then do some of like the the bigger interviews in here and shoot that but then maybe put those on like a a later release schedule or like i mean wow we we can talk about this yeah we'll figure it out i mean the truth is we mm. can at this juncture Mm. do whatever we want sure yeah i mean once like we just need the the money to keep cooking for like another month to get all of like the uh, the startup expenses hammered down yeah and then after that like i really don't give a fuck what happens because we'll have enough you know like yeah to get by yeah exactly yeah 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 Operating costs shouldn't be, you know, that bad. It is cool to spend so much money. Yeah. Although the electricity bill here is going to be dog shit. Oh, God. I already got the prorated bill for, like, just a week. And I was like, really? For before we have, like, the... the f- f- before the anything was in, the lights were off for fucking... How? It was, like, $100 for a week, for, like, four days. Passive consumption or something? But nothing's plugged in, so I don't know. We have a c- one computer. That's it. That wasn't even here. At the time. So how? I don't know. The air conditioner. These right? fucking Jews. Yeah. Are they Jews? No. They're not. No. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. That would really be putting an extra layer of stress on my shoulders. I don't know. I mean, I feel like even... If we had sinister Jewish uh, landlords. Yeah. I feel like they can't really be sinister because they already know... They know what might happen if you go a little too far. Do they know what we're doing in here? What? Who the people that yeah. own the place? Yeah, yeah, we told them. Yeah, we told them that we were at the lease signing. Yeah, but they don't kind of get whatever. Who mm-hmm. cares? We don't have to talk about this. Why not? I don't know. The, our friends care, I guess. The listeners. The listeners. Our friends. We have to come up with a different name for the audience or the listeners. I, in fact, I don't even know. What do we say? Do talk shows have fan bases? Because somebody was like, you know, they're like, what's the name for fans of the Adam Friedland show? And it's like, well, what's the name for fans of Firing Line? They don't have names. Yeah, no. Who's, yeah, the fans of Anderson Cooper 360. Right. Yeah. I can't think of one. Yeah, Jaws and then the live action 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. I think I've got an evening set up for myself. <laughs> Get a nice little puzzle going. I watched the live action Aladdin mm-hmm. on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. It was great. Aladdin. That's how Aladdin. I pronounce it. Yeah, that's how I pronounce it. I liked it. Yeah. Honestly, it kind of worked. That's the one with Will Smith as the genie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's so weird. Yeah, Will Smith? Yeah, he's so weird. I can imagine. He's trying to do Fresh Prince mm-hmm. comedy. But he's like so self conscious at this point that it's like mm-hmm. really stressful. Well, because he, he was like the most famous, coolest guy in the world for he like was fifteen years, the coolest guy. And now he's a guy whose wife just cocks him constantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he has to like humiliate himself in public. Yeah, that gave, like, I feel like half the reason he even slapped Chris Rock is because Chris Rock insulted her, and then later. She would have been like, I'm thinking about fucking Chris Rock <laughs> because he he knows it's how to her treat fault. me. Yeah. It's, it's her al- fault. It's always a woman's fault. It's always a woman's fault. Yeah. That's like, you know, that expression uh, when people are like, uh, behind every great man, there's some dumb bitch trying to take credit for what he's doing. Yeah. You know, Say it was her idea. Women love that quote. Yeah. And it's like, uh, I point them to a little film called 310 to Yuma. Right. It basically explains the original or the remake. race relations between men and women. <laughs> the the female race. The female race. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear little Kim Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I realized last week for the first time on the phone and I'd never known this mm. in thirty five years of, of my life mm. that my family are royalists. Really? Yeah. Tories. They're not Tories. They're royalists. They yeah. just like the royal family. They're into the uh, spectacle. Yeah. I said, I was like, what, yeah, what's going on with that Like uh, that girl, Megan? I yeah. was like, they don't like her because she's Spark- black. Megan Sparkle. Megan Spor- Sporkle. Sparkly Megan. Yeah. And my dad was like... Bubbly. He was like, well, she's got, she, you know, she's got a lot of problems. Mm-hmm. I was like... I, 
how could you even reach that conclusion? Yeah. That is, it's humiliating. Right. For me. It makes me want to, like, change my last name. Yeah. That he could be like, oh, well, she's... What would you change it to? Dean? Um, Knievel. Adam Dean Knievel. Yeah. How about Dean badass. Knievel? Dean Knievel's badass. That's awesome. It's very cool. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Dean Scooter, Dean Knievel. I'd be Xiaowei Ra- Raiden. <laughs> I'd be Huawei Raiden, <laughs> and I'd have electricity <laughs> as a power. It's pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think our timeline is for this? Yeah, three weeks. This can be done. I mean, I, we can get the the stage the dimension. Stage. I don't know why I, I, I like. I just wanted I wanted things in here first. I wanted like just make sure that you know we don't get stuck with something that doesn't really work but yeah i mean friday the dp can come in and take a look at like the uh i'm gone on friday well he can come as long as the chairs are here we can get somebody to make sure that everything's set up so that you know like because the trick is is creating a sense of depth over here and a close-up yeah i guess and uh he's gonna have to do that or help with that and then we can figure out where we can drop the the stage itself so sick. Mm-hmm. This is so sick. Yeah. Whatever. We don't have to gas ourselves up. There are guys listening to this and being like, they're out of their minds. Say a joke. Say a joke. Say say a joke. Fuck say you. one joke. I'm going to shit. We're distracted. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do. Well, it's also, too, it's like we come in here. I've been here. You know, I get here at 6 a.m., get my gym bag, go over to Go over to the gym. I finally had a day at the gym. Yeah. Like, we're actually, where I'm not just fucking around. She said hi or no? No. She didn't say hi. No. Don't make, you're going to get me kicked out of Equinox. They don't know who we're talking about. I know, but you're going to get me kicked out of Equinox. You're gonna or make it seem I'm going like to get you re- married. No, I'm not going to. To a beautiful, perfect <laughs> woman. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get me banned from my expensive gym. And, uh, <laughs> but no, I've been, I've been running that cable all day long. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna have great internet, and then we go to yeah, we go to well at least at least at least a slick setup. Yes, yeah. I can't wait until they roll out. They're already doing like two and a half gig for residential in New York. Uh-huh. But once they got, they'll have they'll have like multi gig or ten gig business internet FiOS soon. So what's that gonna get us? <sighs> I th- well, I th- I, th- I think. I mean, I guess it would it would depend on Steven's end also, but then we won't have to like shuttle drives, for sure. Like to get stuff edited if he doesn't want to come in here, we can just upload it. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be sick. That'll be fun. Some guy sent me his jokes for like a writing packet. I've got a lot of them. Do you want to just read them? Yeah, they're so bad. Hey, let's read them. Yeah, okay. Pull them out. Pull them out. I won't say his name. Live action. Uh, one hundred and one Dalmatians. And That's then, with uh, that bitch, right? What's have you eaten any good food lately? Uh, yesterday, kind of. What'd you have? I had... It's the end of tomato season, and my girlfriend got from the farmer's market some really nice heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom tomatoes? What is this? They're, they're tomatoes you inherit? Yeah, from your parents. Let's see. Let's read this guy. Let's make fun All of it. Alright, here we go. This is the this is the writer's writer's. So you guys submission. can tell me if I should hire this guy. Mm-hmm. Racine did topical jokes on Funny Moms last week. Yeah. And they were pretty solid. Yeah, well he's uh he's he's, he's trying a to good get comedian. trying to get that S N L job. I hope he does, dude. I hope if you came out to Indy if you came out to any show that I brought Mike Racine and you enjoyed Mike Racine's set, please harass him to fucking come back and do right. a headlining set there. Harass your local club. Say, I want to see Mike Racine. So this is a great comic. He's a great comic and he should have a fucking career. But like a lot of people we know, they get stuck in a fucking rut. You know? Yeah. That's a thing. Oh it's God, a thing. This it's like is so bad. You know what's crazy, is Liam? What you, are you doing? You got to be like an egotist or a narcissist or whatever to even do stand up in the first place. Yeah, and that's what gets people to do it. Yeah, but then once they're there, it's like, oh, what? Yeah, they think they have to like practice humility. It's like, no, keep being a fucking 
Yeah, that's how you get good. Well, not only... I mean, maybe it's not how you get good, but it's how you fucking pay your bills. Okay. You know, you gotta self-promote. You gotta... Oh, God. You gotta, you know... Okay, so I'm not gonna say this is good or bad. You guys can tell me if we should hire this guy to be a writer. Um, My mother is so ugly, the plastic surgeon added a tail... That's it. Yeah. Okay. That's not really a... It's not topical. That's not a topical joke at all. I read a New York Times article today that said, most accidents happen within 25 miles of your home. Mm -hmm. So I moved. Yeah. That's That's kind of McSweeney's. I know, but that's... I feel like that's also uh, probably stolen. That seems like the kind of joke, uh, you know. You know, I heard somebody do a joke one time about, yeah, they say that most accidents... Happen within a mile from your home. It's not 25 miles. Yeah. Which is really bad news for me because I, I live in my car. Somebody's oh, that's good. So yes, I yeah, saw somebody good. do that one time. So um, maybe he could steal that instead of this 25 Yeah, send mile. me that in an email. Yeah. I, I have used up all is my... Is that even sick surprising? Day. Most accidents happen within 25 miles of the home? I mean, Most people, you don't, you don't venture much further than that. Yeah, 25 miles is far. It's far. It's Jersey. It's basically China. Yeah. Uh, I've don't used get up, me started on you. I've used up all my sick days, mm-hmm. so I decided to call in dead. Yeah, that also seems stolen to me. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you do. These seem like Stephen Wright jokes, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we could wipe out the national debt if there was a tax on campaign promises. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you're laughing at it. I think that's not bad. I think it's, I mean, it's so bad. That one's more in the, the voice of the show. I'm just thinking my dad would hear that and be like, that's yeah. that's quite right. That's a great joke. That's quite right. Yeah. Yeah. And then somebody's like, man, where are your drawers at, man? Come on. Put your Little drawers. Little Kim back. died. Put your drawers back on, Put man. your drawers back. <laughs> <laughs> you got your dick and your ass hanging out, man. Come on. My mother is such a bad driver. Mm-hmm. She was given a ticket for being in the passenger seat. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense, yeah. What does he mean? I don't know. Does it, it doesn't subvert the expectation of the audience. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why do they lock gas station bathrooms? Are they afraid someone will clean them? That's funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah. I, I don't mind that one. That one's not bad. My doctor said he specialized in shock treatment. I did not understand what he meant. Until he called him the N-word. Until I received the bill. Oh. Uh, it's shocking. Shocking. My yeah. dad would love this guy. Yeah. Um, These actually aren't bad. They're not bad. Honestly. They're yeah. not bad. Pretty if he's trying to like go like corny center left. No, these are the kind of jokes that'll get you a job on SNL. Really? Yeah. You think? For sure. I would no, know. It has to be like Trump. You know I spent years at SNL. Yeah, but we don't talk about that. I think. Mm. Nick was... Donald Trump might go to jail. Okay. Um... Let's just hope he, uh, and he's not going to pass go. Let's hope he doesn't pass gas <laughs> <That's> <laughs> on the way good. there. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, how do you double the value of a Ford Focus? What is this, a riddle? It's like a one-liner. Turn it into a Ford Double Vision, I guess. You fill it up with gas. Oh, okay. Because they're not very... Uh, yeah, they don't maintain in, their value. In focus, or yeah, go ahead. It had nothing to do with the focus. No. Mm-hmm. I feel like a pickpocket in a nudist camp. That's how bad the economy is. I guess, yeah, because there would be no, because there's no, no pockets wallets. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine him just trying to steal things out of people's genitals. I feel bad. I hope this doesn't hurt his feelings. I'm sure he loves it. He loves it. I'm sure he loves hearing his jokes read. What's his name? Uh, Lem. Lem? Yeah. If you steal my sunshine. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Keep going. Uh, why did God make man before a woman? He did not want to be given advice on how to make a man. Yeah, good. <laughs> That's quite right. That's good. That's quite right. This guy's actually pretty good. Dude. He's he's fire. Maybe Lem might be a uh, head writer of the Adam Freeland show. Oh no! What? I saw a word in the next joke. I got nervous. How did the Jewish people come to America? 
Um, wait, so this does sound like a riddle to me. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. Um, through direct deposit? Yiddle by yiddle. What? But yiddle isn't a word. A little by little, he means? Little by little. Yeah. yeah. I like direct deposit. I like my answer better. I like yours better. Yeah. What's the next one? I like these where I have to guess the joke. Jewish proverb. Why Jewish? Mm-hmm. Lim. Because it's the Adam Friedland show. Okay, I got it. It's you. a Jewish center left show. Oh, shit. My friend Zach wants to come through. Zach sounds cool. You've met him, I think. Have I? Yeah. All right, let's keep going with the jokes. Sorry, I'm texting him the address. Um, folks, if you've seen Jaws, if you've seen 101 Dalmatians, you're probably thinking, wow, I've got a lot in common with these guys. And if you do, check out patreon.com slash TAFS. This is on Patreon. Uh, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Jewish proverb. Yeah. There's no shame in being poor. On the other hand, it's nothing to brag about either. Yeah. Okay. Why is that Jew? I don't know. But yeah. Let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. Okay. How do you find a Jewish? Why Jewish? Okay. How do you find a Jewish baby in a nursery? Um, okay. Hold on. Um, you find a Jewish baby in a nursery. You're not going to get it. Why am I not going to get it? Because you're going to go like too creative or funny. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm I'm thinking logically here. If you wanted to find a Jewish baby in a nursery, obviously uh-huh. it would be the one that's circumcised. Yeah. But, um, I mean, I guess you would look at all of their penises. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I would think too. Yeah. Um, it would be the baby with indigestion. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. From what? Its own mother's breast milk? Yeah, I guess so. Because yeah. he's lactose. Yeah. Uh, I guess my Asian girlfriend... Oh, sorry. Uh, the last time I had sex, Bush was in office. H.W. Bush. Mm-hmm. This is very borscht belt, yeah. this guy. This is very take my wife. George Hardware Bush. Uh, yesterday I was so happy I jumped for joy and landed in an open manhole. Uh huh. That's not even. Uh, 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 give me a second. Let me yawn through that one. Yeah, this is the best part of the show when you start off hot and then you run out of steam because. That's fine, dude. We're well, almost we're, done. Look, we're cruising. Like we said, you, you guys, we got big things coming. We're filling the uh, next couple of weeks. Once once this shit is is ready to go then uh, like i don't know I, we'll have to figure out a way i because i would by the end of the year or at the end of the year yeah like the not have the podcast element anymore and just have the, the we're getting the there. adam friedland show as a talk show do i think? don't understand this you having trouble with my that? ex-wife is like ellis island wait let me try this one okay my ex-wife is like ellis island uh, change, I would say changing, filled changing with her, immigrants changing or something. Changing her name every... She changes her name every... Uh, the only way to... Something about how she's getting fucked or something. Yeah, right? filled But by that's it. not the answer. Yeah. Something about changing her name. Federally owned and surrounded by water. Yeah, see, this is... Why is she surrounded by this, water? This is where this guy ran out of steam. Lem, you, this, that one sucked. This is him running out of steam. Now he's just going absurd. Well, it's fine. He's getting us through the episode. He went from SNL packet to... now. Who's the, the lady that's in the cab? Amanda... Amanda Bynes. No, you know, you know what I'm talking about. No. No, the, the, the African-American lady that she has her own... Peacock. Oh, uh... Yeah, whatever. You know the that. one, like the late, late show. The right. one that's only on in cabs. Yeah. And every joke, if they put her monologue in every cab ride, you, yeah, know, I forget, you see her yeah. monologue, and she's like, the Queen of England died, you know, it's like, which I, I hope they're, you know, I hope they're taking applications. That's pretty good. You know, I don't know. Yeah. It's like, that's every joke on the show. Uh, my sex life is like my credit score. Mm-hmm. A few points over 18 but rarely over 25. That's not how... That, you can't even have a credit score that low. This doesn't make sense. Yeah. He's trying to brag about having sex? Yeah. You don't have sex. I think he's talking about age, too. Yeah, I know that's what he's saying. Yeah. He gets young women. Foxcatcher. I might watch that again now that it's fall. That's one of my favorite I fall. got really mad yesterday. Why? 
my girlfriend was like watching the Army Hammer documentary yeah. with her friends. It's an Army Hammer. How about they were just reading his DMs? Army Hammer. How about Leggy Hammer? That guy's a tall drink of water, isn't he? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Thanks. Uh, I like my women like I like my coffee. Mm-hmm. Decaffeinated. Interesting. How, how? Like how? I have to piss so bad that my dick is twitching. 11 minutes. You ever have that? Yeah. Your shit like spasms because you got to piss so bad? You can go do it. Yeah? Who cares? Okay. All right. I'll they're, honestly, they're liking this episode. <laughs> 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 just the confidence. Yeah. And it's not even like, it, you know how it used to be? No, they, they just want to like, they want to see us happy. Win the okay. show. <laughs> I'll I'll tell them what they like. Uh, the, <laughs> the, 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 you know, the old show used to be like a low effort. There was some value in that, I guess. Or, yeah. You know, yeah. People would be like, they don't care. But with this one, it's extremely high effort. And sometimes the show We're is, trying our best. Sometimes the show is just bad because you've been, you've been, you've been fucking stapling wires to the wall all day long. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not worried about it. I don't no. care. That thing about the guy who pulled his pants off for the Listen, queen dying. Let me tell you this. Very good. This podcast can fuck itself. Once the Adam Freeland show, we, we're going to leave. Pod- we are post podcast. We are. Society needs to move on. Society needs to be done with podcast. Yes. And we are at the vanguard of that. We led the charge with podcast. We were the first podcast. That's right. In 2016. That's right. No one had a podcast. That's right. And we started it. Yeah. And now we're going to be the first people with a talk show. Yeah. 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 A self funded <laughs> through begging handouts. Yeah. Sort of a Buddhist style. Yes. Of talk show. Yeah. And we're going to eat rice on the show. Uh, the last time I had a gay experience, mm-hmm. I was in college. That sounds like a gay experience to me. Yeah. Learning. Yeah. Let's just say I have finally decided mm-hmm. to get that doctoral degree in personal finance. What? I think it's that he's going back and getting an advanced degree because he's gay. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna like give myself go pee, go pee. I'm I don't want to see you a, uncomfortable. A UTI. All right, go pee, go pee. We'll pause it. Pause it. It's six thirty. Six thirty. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, we're right, fine. I'm back. I'm done. I'm finished pissing. I'm glad I figured out how to pause this thing after six years. Nick has a. Uh, what are you having your having your colon cleaned? I am. I'm getting a a, a colonic. I'm a getting, colonic. Yeah, a coffee enema. My girlfriend's a gay uncle, of which she has two, mm-hmm. right? And they are identical twins. Do they twins. live with each other, like Bird and Ernie? No, but they are identical twins, and they both kind of realize at the same time, mm-hmm. which makes so much sense to me, mm-hmm. right? Like a, around the time you start masturbating. About Squirt and Ernie. That's pretty good. He's like, oh, Ernie, I'm... I shit all over your cock again. Well, that's okay, Bert. She, he was saying that means, that means you're enjoying it. He was saying that it's unhealthy to get colonics. That's what it looks like when your ass comes, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's called squirting, Bert. Bernie, I think I'm just having diarrhea. Yeah. No, that's okay, Bert. <laughs> it's okay when you diarrhea all over my cock. Um, he said that it's unhealthy to get colonics because you need bacteria in your ass. Mm-hmm. And I thought that, that makes sense. Yeah, it made sense. Yeah, your gut biome. Yeah. Yeah. Your ass biome. Well, they do fecal transplants to cure autism now. Is that right? Yeah. They put poo poo in, inside of. Yeah, you get like a queer. You get kids. like a jock's feces. And you put it in. You a get nerd. a popular kid's yeah. shit. That's what Revenge of the Nerds was about. Yes. They were trying to steal their burger. was like, I stole a bunch of shit from the jock bathroom. <laughs> Let's put it in our ass and then we can get pussy. Yeah, that's a good movie. Yeah. Um, so what what were we doing? We're making fun of this guy, uh, Rick Moranis. We're we talking about Rick Moranis. It was his well, this is recently. his Rick writing Moranis. packet. He's Rick, a- Rick Moranis had a, a disastrous, disastrous fiftieth uh, uh, birthday at at Studio sixty nine. What happened? He, uh, I don't know. Did you hear about this? No. No, a 12 year old girl died. Oh. Last week. Was it his fault? Yeah. He, a bunch he of just drivers. turned 50? Yeah, he just turned 50. I didn't realize he was so yeah, young. He had a banger party. He had a banger? Yeah. You didn't get invited? No. No. Grace Jones. I can't wait till we, like, don't even have enough time for the audience because we're so popular. I think we're popular and cool. Let me finally get that we're jock so feces. <laughs> I finally get my ass filled with jock feces and I become a cool guy. I can't wait to get popular at like 37, 38. Yeah. I'm planning on being so popular. Yeah. Yeah. 
hanging out like Post Malone, mm-hmm. hanging out with Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. 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 Just I'm forgetting be about all I'm my old friends. I'm gonna be hanging out friends. with like Flea and Eddie Furlong. Those I saw Flea. Like, did you? Yeah. Well, then, never mind. I don't want to hang out with them anymore. I saw Flea in the East Village right after we got in that argument on Monday. I'm gonna hang out with Eddie Furlong, and probably just yeah, Eddie Furlong and he Christopher. He looks like shit now. My right? celeb friends are gonna be Eddie Furlong and Christopher Lambert, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, that's gonna be the crew, dude. The Three Musketeers. What a fucking crew. <laughs> Honestly, if you got that crew, I would accept if you never spoke to me again. <laughs> I'm hanging out with my friends, dude. Come on. I don't have time to work. The, the nasty... Chris got a baguette. Eddie brought some heroin over. We're having a fucking afternoon. Is he a drugs guy? Why does he look that bad? What's that? Furlong. Who? Edward Furlong. Um. Yeah, he had a severe drug problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Figures. Okay, last joke. And it's, I, it just doesn't make sense. Go ahead. Adam, colon, everyone pees in the pool. Okay. Lifeguard, colon. You want to fill this in? No. Um, yeah, but they're usually in it when they do it. Yeah. Is that it? From the diving board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was one of the first jokes I did when I just started doing stand-up. Really? Yeah. So he stole that from you. I don't know. I think a lot of people do that joke. From the diving board? Yeah. I forget how I boarded it, but something like... um. Yeah, being at the pool and some yeah. lady yelling at me yeah. for peeing in the pool and then being like, relax, bitch. I'll get uh-huh. in in a second. Yeah. Yeah. So have you been like getting, maybe, I, I know you have the colonoscopy, but like after, or whatever, colonic. Uh-huh. Maybe after the show's over, we like go shopping and get you some cute gym outfits. Uh, I for have, her. I have, no. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers. <laughs> No, just stuff that she'll think is sexy. Uh, I already have gym clothes. What do you wear? I mean, most of my regular clothes are gym clothes. Yeah, but you have to stop thinking about practicality. I should start dressing. I start I thinking to, about what I need to do is go seduction. to Brooks Brothers and get some nice. I got to start dressing like an adult. It's a great brand. Yeah. I'm thinking. Uh, what are you getting? Uh, tuxedo. To the gym? Uh, no, to wear around. What wear can around. You I do? come in here. I should start. I should stop dressing like this because it looks bad now. I'm finally old enough now that I look fucking. I look like a yeah, homeless but you person. pull it off because you're like naturally good looking. That's very kind of you to say. I don't think so anymore. No, you're fine. No, you're you're think, insecure about your looks, but you're still naturally good looking. I don't think so. Yeah, I think. I think you think I, your eyes are bad now? I think they are. What's I got thing? those. The, the, I got the infection. Like not only fucked up my vision, but this eye's like droopy now. It's like. You look fine. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. Well, Remember when you thought you were going bald? Yeah. Well, everyone's going. It was bald. like eight years ago. Yeah. You were like, I'm bald. Yeah. Well, Whatever. My hair, my Beyond hair, that, my hair was falling out. A lot of my hair was falling out. Beyond that, you have to start thinking about the gym as a place where you can seduce, and not mm-hmm. a place where you go to. I'm thinking maybe a cod piece. Yeah. Yeah. Like to put like a metal thing that my dick goes like into. a metal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and then I don't have any clothes on. Otherwise, I just go into Equinox and I'm like, "Y'all hear little Kim Dad? <laughs> <laughs> y'all hear? Y'all hear that?" And I'm like, "Come on, man, get Yo, your me- put here? your metal dick away, bro. Is she here right now, bro? Your dick ain't your your dick look metal, man." Dude, put your drawers back on. Go home. It's a different queen. <laughs> it's not the same queen. Man. And even if it was, you got to put your dick and your ass away. You can't be coming in here with your dick and ass out. Was Was Lil Kim considered to be the queen of hip hop? Wasn't she? Didn't she the queen bee? I don't know. Zach. Zach. Yeah. The queen. Queen My friend B, Zach yeah. is literally a successful rap producer. Oh, okay. But that was her... They called her the Queen B, right? No, no, no. Queen... He Lil said that's Beyonce. But wasn't... Like, Lil' Kim was like... Zach, you can get on the microphone and tell them. Yeah. Are you? It, it doesn't. For the purpose of the joke, we need to remember... It was Lil' Kim, right? That she would be like the Queen... But she would say that all the time. Zach, go ahead. Zach can answer. I have no idea. Oh, okay. I feel like I feel like classically the queen bee is the beehive Beyonce. Yeah, but Lil Kim predates Beyonce. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So I I, I vaguely remember her I being. I feel like I was like too young. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I've Damn. decided. So you, you you were saying like uh, the names for stand groups, right? You're like the the stands of our show don't have a name. Right? Uh, yeah, but I've I've joined one recently. Which one? Um, the Barb's. What is that? Fans They're of Barbara f- Streisand? No, I thought they were. Mm. It's the fans of Nicki Minaj, the rapper. Hello, Chicken Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj. You know Nicki that guy, the retarded black guy that's like famous and he has no idea. No, who's he? He's some guy in like Barbados. He's like a, this mentally ill homeless guy that wears like like Google googly eye glasses <laughs> and like takes pictures of a tourist <laughs> and he just goes <laughs> he just goes Hello, Nicki Minaj, Chicken Nugget, and then people are like, Oh, dude. Have you, Zach, have you worked with that guy? Yeah. The very good, very, what? Who? Queen bitch. bitch. Zach said that she was the queen bitch. If I remember correctly, it was some bullshit school. They offered a degree in Lil' Kim. You could like get a fucking bachelor's degree in studying Lil' Kim. What? Like, what do you, what do you do with it? I have no idea. This was like 2005 or something. It was like before... Before, like, even, like, all the ITT, all the, like, the predatory student loan shit went away. They have stuff like that. Like, you pay $50,000 a year to go take seminars in L.A. to learn how to produce music. Yeah. But that's at least there's some promise there. I mean, most degrees are bull. Like, all the people that come to this city and they're like, I'm majoring in film. But that's kind of what I'm saying is the Lil' Kim degree sounds pretty tight. Yeah. Like... Well, if we had if we had somebody with a... uh, They got their bachelor's degree in Lil' Kim studies... They could answer the question. Yes. Probably at Emerson. That's yeah. like where you can major in podcasting. I think it was like Colorado or something. I can't. No, that's a real place. Condoleezza Rice went there. Colorado College. Colorado College. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe they. Maybe it was Condoleezza's. Maybe that's what she studied. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, I had fun, honestly. I always have fun. I always have a good time. Dude, this ain't the old show. Guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's going to be good.